Hey guys, Justin in a big Beach Boys mood. Right now, um, got side two up of uh, Drag City. Been loving this record lately. I know recently on Facebook I posted that I've been spinning this. Um, and I forgot how much I really like Surf Route 101. Uh, it's a song that Brian did with uh, Jam Berry and I'm not sure if it's Gary Usher or um, Roger Christian. I want to say it's Gary Usher. Um, it's on side two as well. Uh, I just thought I'd play that in the background. But actually, today's subject is not about drag strips, cars, or girl. Well, kind of about a girl. Um, I've been reading recently in, um, in a March, uh, the March-April 96 issue of Inland Summer Quarterly. And they did an uh, interview with Mark Lynette and David Leaf about the uh, upcoming Pet Sound Sessions box set. And I thought, you know what? I, uh, I've not reviewed this box set. I've not done box sets in a long time. Um, if you'll excuse the mess, uh, this is all actually Beach Boys related stuff. I used to be on Brian Wilson's homepage. This is all stuff. There's a Van Dyke. Um, put together, uh, I printed out over the past at least 12 years, um, essays, letters, uh, album art, and, and um, all kinds of stuff. And used up printers all over work and school whenever I was there. And so I'm trying to... Um, trying to organize it all better than this i had it in files like that so um i posted this recently on the smile uh facebook this is my this was my original smile file um really enjoyed this got a lot of stuff in here from the old smiley board um see that some old stuff i think this was printed out let's see 01, 2001. I don't even know if this stuff is on there. The smileshop.net. I don't even know if that exists um, anymore. Someone can correct me though, if you'd like. Notes from Dur Jerry Parks, uh, Van Dyke's uh, wife. That was out. 2006, I printed that. Anyway, decided to show that. And today I was going to do the Pet Sound session. So let's delve into this. I've not really seen anybody else do this. So I've seen like the smile box set and of course I've done a couple other box sets myself. So actually I got this way back in the day. Um, one of my first Beach Boys purchases. I was looking for like the Wouldn't It Be Nice track because I really loved it. And um, uh, you know someone suggested getting Stacko tracks and then they're like well why don't you get the Pet Sounds box set. So if you don't have this you definitely need this. It's definitely different from the... Um, from the the smile box set I mean this came out in like 97 98 and it's just you know it's a bit different you know box sets were different then so here you'd open it up and this was actually a little thing that came in I never sent it in this was to go to Capitol Records um, and there's what was available album wise from Capitol um, cool picture of pet sounds there and I had a little um, uh, survey, and um, so I'm glad that I, I've kept this over, you know, however long I've had this, at least 14 years. So there's that. There's that. Surf Route 101. Love that song. Here you got the guys. A lot of the pictures, these pictures were taken from the Pet Sounds, you know, uh, vocal sessions, but they were used on the best of Beach Boys, their first uh, thing there, their first best of record. So this is a really great booklet. Um, always love that the collaging of the newspapers. Um, there's Brian from the Caroline No She uh, music cover, and just a lot of great quotes from Brian, Paul McCartney, George Martin. Um, I believe there's a David Leaf uh, up, updated at this time, um, a uh, essay, um, and it just it gets you into it. So um, I don't have my original copy of Pet Sounds on the CD because I gave it to a girl stupidly a long time ago, and her response was, where's Good Vibrations? 
she only knew. Anyway, um, this is better than having that CD because, I mean, I would think it wouldn't be as better, but because um, that was my original copy. But this has the uh, the same notes, and I think they're updated a bit. So we've got some great pictures. Um, a lot, a lot have been posted over the years. Um, there's a little bit of notes, track by track by Brian. Um, and a little bit snip vocal snippets from people steve douglas and those from the wrecking crew about the tracks um talking about the chart positions of what was released um there's the infamous doonesbury comic that finally got in here and uh this guy if you've never read it you need to find it this guy was um i believe he has cancer and so he's listening to pet sounds on cd um it's kind of sad but pretty cool they included it. Um, here's some just great notes. Um, Pet Sounds, the who played on what, what the dates were, um, important information, thus and such. And um, if you don't have this collection, you will uh, might be surprised to know that they did include Good Vibrations and Trombo Di Trombone Dixie because uh, Good Vibrations did start during the Pet Sounds, so it only makes sense that they include a little bit of the session and the track for the original Tony Asher lyric version. And then they have a little bit of the session for Trombone Dixie and then the track for Trombone Dixie. So uh, I've always been a fan of that. Um, so we have more about um, notes on the recording and the mixing. Um, you know, the only thing that's tough about this thing is just it's hard to open up. I don't want to bend it. Um, these types of booklets are like that so um this is more of what was on the back there so you have uh disc one has got the original album in stereo mix then it goes through the sessions and it's in chronological order so you have sloop john b that started in 1965 then you go through trombone dixie pet sounds let's go away for a while wouldn't it be nice and you still believe in me um what's special about pet sounds let's go away for a while is that you'd have the session and then for all the other tracks, they would put the whole track on there in stereo, the backing track. But for Pet Sounds and Let's Go Away for a while, that's the same thing. Um, so they took uh, the string overdub off the Let's Go Away for a while and the guitar overdub for Pet Sounds. So it sounds a bit different. Um, Wouldn't It Be Nice has a, long, a pretty long uh, session highlights uh, that are pretty cool. has a part where it's accordion only, which is awesome. Stereo backing track with... Uh, by itself and then stereo tracking back with um, uh, background vocals is really awesome. I love it. Uh, intro session, that's them working on the piano uh, part 